today in this video we will see what is document and data and uh, why what happens uh, when you delete document and data from your iPhone hello YouTube and welcome to my channel and in this video today we will see what is meant by document and data and why you should delete document and data from your iPhone now let's at first go to settings then general storage and iCloud usage and let's go to manage storage now let's uh, open any application like whatsapp now if you see here uh, in whatsapp application there is an uh, there is uh, one uh, option here documents and data and if you see the space it's 258.5 mb and if you see the uh, size of the whatsapp application it is 95.9 mb only so this means that whatsapp application has uh, used 258 mb of space from your iphone and this space is used by the cached files of uh, cached files of whatsapp application although the cached files will help whatsapp to open uh, faster but uh, uh, it consumes more space from your iphone and you need to compromise with the space of your iphone storage so what you need to do is uh, you need to delete these documents and data or you need to delete the cache files uh, of applications from time to time like once in every two months so that you can make some space free and how you can delete the cache files is you need to delete this application and along with this application if you select delete app the uh, the application whatsapp will be deleted so once you have deleted the application along with the application this document data or the cached files will be deleted and after you have deleted this application you will go to app store again and then you will uh, install this install the application so this is how you have you can delete uh, cast files or document and data from your iphone for each application so that you can make some space free thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks